Bloom is the award-winning new open-source free vernacular book production tool from SIL International. Bloom is basically a software that makes it simple for communities to publish their own mother tongue reading materials. Kitabu, on the other hand, is a digital content distributor in education that took the initiative of holding a Bloom software training and trained authors on how to use the software. The event that was held at the Kitabu Lounge was a great opportunity for authors interested in expanding their reading audience to learn about a software that would enable them to do just that and at the same time grow libraries by having their content in different native languages. Bloom is aimed at two kinds of users. Uh, the first person is uh, a person making books and other publications in their language. This person will use a template such as basic book and they will easily build a, a nice book with text and pictures. They can also use show books to translate books. The other kind of person is someone making books for the show books, that is for the Bloom Library. Today we are going to learn about making a book as the first user using the software. It's another uh, really good platform to like design your books and stuff. Um, I didn't expect it to be like this, so it's a surprise and it's it's good. Like they're doing well, and um, it's very useful. I was particularly interested in the the capability of of language, um, how you can. Uh, edit your books to be different languages. So, yeah, very interesting. The participants who came ready with their laptops had the Bloom software installed and were taken step by step by instructor Rosemary Mugambi on how to use shell books, get access to books in the Bloom library, and even start from scratch with the basic book templates. I think it's a very good uh, toolkit. Uh, it's easy to use and it can be used for many things and for first timers. That's what I like about it most. You don't have to be a techie for you to be able to use it. The training was done with the aid of a series of videos which the participants were later on given an access to so that they could go on with practicing as well as teach other people in their communities. This was a dream come true for 78-year-old Pat Ngurukie who had always wanted for her grandchildren to read her books in her Kikuyu language since she could now easily do this at the comfort of her home thanks to the simplicity and availability of the Bloom software. I'm learning that I can actually do my own things. I can put my manuscripts into something that can help people. Audibly as an audio and also even in writing. And it can sell online. In the words of Christy Vilsack, USAID Senior Advisor for International Education, literacy is the cornerstone of economic and social development. But millions of children around the world still lack basic access to books in their native language. To strengthen global literacy, we need to make it easier, faster, and more affordable to produce age and language appropriate books that kids want to read. I think uh, we've learned a lot in terms of uh, creating books and it's so much fun. The biggest surprise is how easy it is to actually come up with your own book and even um, edit the ones that are in the library, the Bloom library. So for me that has been the most surprising thing. It's so easy, it's so, so easy. The Bloom software training was nothing short of a success and this was simply just a start of a series of trainings in a bid to grow libraries with all tribes considered. The great journey of growing vernacular book libraries in Kenya has just begun.